Oh my gosh. I'm Maggie, but glowy eyes. Should I reroll the uh, enemies? Do you know? You never know. Doesn't this tear like sometimes? Yeah, beams from the sky. I like it. But my HP is delicate situation right now. I remember the beam from the sky is luck base, and my luck is 0.95. So I think I'm good. Also, every time I pick up consumable, I lose my hair, so. Part of my hair. It doesn't want to stay on my head. You know what I'm saying? It's a wig. It slips off. Ooh. You, you know, this is underrated, but actually good item. And also I heard uh, it's like super rare for some reason. Like some people try to get that item to complete their, like all the items or whatever, I forgot. And then they said, it's super rare. It doesn't show up. Well, suckers, I have it. Spoon benders. You know, actually, are there any females here? Because I was kind of like thinking about the question that Rob asked me. Okay, let's push this. Let's push, push this baby. Put your hands up if yo. If you are a female in my chat, this, this thing. Oh my god, I'm stuck. I was stuck. What the heck? Couldn't move. Sticky rock. Yo, nobody. Nobody here is female? Come on. Come on. That's a lie. My YouTube demographic graph told me that I have like 30% or 40% viewers are females. Granted, they might be lying, but Ryan told me his demographic is like 2% female. And I'm pretty sure I am the whole 1%. <laughs> I am his whole 1% and then the other one person, it, maybe his mom is the other 1%. <laughs> so other than me and his mom, no no females watch this video. <laughs> I don't think Hafu watches Ryan, to be honest with you. Because when Hafu met Ryan, she's like, who are you? What do you do? And we are like, we know Hafu. <laughs> she plays Hearthstone. <laughs> She's more famous. Did you guys not see she got verified on Twitter? I was like, yo, jealous. And I was like, Ryan, why don't you get verified on Twitter? I'm sure with uh, all, like he has over 100,000 followers on Twitter. So I'm just like, hey, Ryan, I'm sure like people will give you that check mark if you want to get verified. And then he said, nah, stupid, it's ego thing. I'm like, I don't think it's ego thing. It's like, it's 100% ego thing. I don't care about ego thing on Twitter or social media. And um, he only used Twitter to shit post anyways. So he said, I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste my time. And I'm like, damn, I am wasting time to get verified. And I will still, I will still waste my time after. I will still waste my time to get verified still. <laughs> I didn't even- I applied to get verified and I didn't even get rejection email. And I'm just like, you don't even send me rejection email? Is that- is that what it is? Like, is that how like low of a grade I am right now to- to you guys? Not even rejection letters? Ego thing more like egg 
Oh, thing. Am I right? I thought I found the boss room, but that was definitely not it. Okay, I... Not really. Ooh. Thought I died. 100%. So there's like actually no female in my chat right now. Right here? Wait! <laughs> Let's save her! Get out of here! You're, you're not female. Ooh! HP up! Ooh! A theme! Damn, why is my... Let's go... Let's go! Is the... The garbage reusable? The garbage ball? Or is it just one time thing? I want... If it's reusable, I want it. Hmm... I guess I can just take both anyways. It's reusable? Let's go! My spiders are trapped. I like this garbage ball. Although my poor spiders are trapped. I hope they will, they can come to the next room together with me. But anyways, the reason why I asked the question if there if anyone here is female when Rob asked me the question, it's like, hey, kid. When you. When female masturbate, do they use dominant hands or sub dominant hands or something like that? And I was thinking, like, dude, I never actually thought about that. Don't most use both hands? And so. Oh no, I have to restart this one. And then I gave him the answer. Oh my god, curse of darkness every time. And I didn't I said both hands. Well I said I use both hands. But I didn't want to give a wrong information. But then there isn't, there's like lack of female audience tonight. So I guess I will hold on with my question. <laughs> hey, quick! There gotta be like a consumables, right? It's the consumable that turns into a spider. like that because I cannot even get I could have I could get it with bomb for bomb which is a bad trade but this is not so bad wait but now I can actually oh kind of wanna oh good bloody lust it was so good that they nerfed it Ooh, and they oh because of the because of my uh what's it what's it the 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 spoon bender because of that it actually bends my dark circle humble bundle 100 percent but you know, like, as you can see, my <laughs> donation machine is super low. So I'm kind of scared. I should play, like, the greedy run and just 
dedicate the run to bank the money. Just so that... Oh wow, that's a lot of bombs. I wish I had like the garbage ball filled up and like... Hey, 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 hey. And see if I can turn those balls into spiders. Delayed hand. I would say Kate gave proper answer to Rob's question. No, 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 no. Wow. Get dusted, Yun. Sure, why not? Tears up. Good stuff. Oh, I will, I will die if I take it, and I don't even think that's good. I know. <laughs> Lol. The humble bundle is so good. That's a lot of money. Whee! Feel bad for donation machine. Now it's only pooping out two cents. Humble bundle! Okay. Let's save the money. Feels bad for the money. But I was like... Dude. You know, it'll be a lot of work. So I'll, I will probably... Not do it unless I can find some people to work with. But I was thinking like... Whenever those like analysis... Um... Talks about... Male focused questions. Like, for example, today they were like, Hey, <laughs> I don't know which who ow, ow. I don't know who. Oh, no, my soul, my heart, my heart. No, no, I don't know who asked the question, but then they were like, So if you were to fuck uh, an animal. Which animal would you fuck? And I was like, dude, first of all, who's asking that question? Second of all, that is very male oriented question. Like, the right question is if you want to get fucked by an animal, which animal would you get fucked by? See, that's. As, as a female, that's the right question, not the other way around. And like, it's like, you know, they're both kind of bad, but like, my direction of the thought is less bad. Like, they're bad. They're both bad. No. They're, ba they're both bad. Don't get me wrong. But like, like, you know, it's like it's less bad because, I don't know, it seems less bad to me. <laughs> That's... That's my reasoning. Seems less bad to me. Um, and I was like... If I can have co-hosts or some people to work with, I wanna get the... Um, the analysis... That were very male-focused episodes. And then we would... Get those titles, or not titles, but get those topics and talk about it with female focused, or maybe change it to female focused topic. <laughs> the problem with your question is that if you were fucked by a horse, you would die, so it's easier to answer. Yeah, but like. You see, there is actually a thing that people desire. Uh, people train their dogs to fuck them. So like, it's also it's pretty messed up. But I'm just saying, it's not something that you er uh, never heard of. 
right? You know, you know what I'm saying? Really enough dogs actually like how do you know? How do you know that? That's 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 lemon dude. That's layman. How do you know every dog's Oh just gotta go quick. Nope. I'm dead. I'm dead. But I can't I can't be better on this one. Maybe not all dogs like it, but the owner train it so they, they're like Can't help it, dude Why every time I have to fight you why My damage is so good because I got hit so many times <laughs> Hey squeezy perfect. I like it. Oh, I can see here, Ryan coming over. Ryan, we've been waiting for this to happen for so long. All right, what is the right answer to this? You can read it out loud if you want. To act well, a person needs to determine which action guiding statements are true or likely to be true and which false are likely to be false. For it seems reasonable to suppose that a person who is acting in accordance with true statements and not false ones likely to be true has more chance of reaching acceptable goals. What, what is the Korean instruction at the top? What is the most correct answer? So like multiple answers can be correct, but what is the most correct one? People seems say like, speak into mic. Seems like number two. What's the correct answer? We don't know. That's why we were depending on you. The statement, I mean, it's designed to be confusing. But I would say that uh, two seems to be closest to the meaning of the paragraph. Two is wrong. It says guaranteed. People are saying it's number one. I said two as well. Because, like, number one, it can be unreliable to act in accordance with statements which are likely to be true. Y'all ever take the SATs? <laughs> it's not asking you to derive a conclusion. It's asking you to take this long bit of text and shorten it into one sentence. Literally, look. For it seems reasonable to suppose that a person who is acting in accordance with true statements and not false ones likely to be true has more chance of reaching acceptable goals. Acceptable goals? Uh, acceptable results will be guaranteed to a person acting... Well, actually, you know what? Number two is not right. <laughs> They're not guaranteed. So people are saying, because it's not guaranteed, it got to be number one. And I yeah, was like... I would agree with that, actually. I, I first said number two, and then... They, the chat was saying, chat said number two. Yeah, yeah. And then someone said, but it's not... Nobody on the in that said guaranteed. Yeah, it's number one. So it got to be number one. Okay. Thank you. Of course. So, yeah. I think... But I mean, in a situation of exam, when you're in like, you know, in, in when you're timed, I think many people might have put down two, just because you have so many questions to go through within such a little amount of time. So I think you might have just like circle number two and then moved on. I think I would have been that person and got it wrong, but hearing, uh, saying people like, hey, it's not guaranteed, so it's number one, and I'm just like, oh, you know what, you're right. So, I think I would've gotten it wrong. Just because in that situation, I would've been like, kind of like, you know, you gotta, you gotta go quick. <laughs> Do wrong answers penalize? Like, you mean, you don't get the points? Yeah, you don't, you don't get the points. You yeah, don't get the points. Oh, gee, I thought, there you go. Yay, our question has been answered! Oh, negative points? No, no, no. It's not negative points. You just don't get the points. That's it. So, like... <laughs> cool way saver. <laughs> so,
So which is the answer? Number one. Number one. Because number two, it says guarantee, which is not true. So it's number one. So if you guess randomly, you're likely to get zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's let's resume. Oh, ghost, baby. I don't I want to take ghost, baby. Into item room. Oh yeah, you know what? Since I cannot take the soul, the uh, dark heart, black heart, because it's the middle of. Uh, Nowhere. Um, I guess I'll turn that into a spider. Whee! My tear is so big. But yeah, I... As I was saying, I think it'll be fun. It will be definitely fun, but it's just oh, it will just be a lot of work. That's the problem. Okay, don't pick that up. Turn all that into spideys or flies, whichever. But I was thinking it would be really fun to have like female members, something like that, and then um, kind of like hey, you know, on. On this day of NLSS, they were talking about this. You know. How how do we feel about it? Or not more like it's not how do we feel about it. Let's let's turn the focus onto the female and then talk about it in the same similar topic. I think the reason why I would like it is first of all, I like lewd questions or answers, jokes. I like lewd jokes. I don't like, you know, like sexual jokes, like I don't like it. But lewd and sexual is two different things, in my opinion. Ugh. Might as well pick it up and put it down. I don't know why I would, but you know, why not? People will, people will, uh, make mistakes on like, oh, so you like sexual jokes. I'm like, no, no, no. How did I not take any of that range up? Sweet. Lewd and sexual jokes are two different things. I was thinking like, uh, I need money for sure. I, th I thought I, I rolled my money into Spidey's, but <laughs> now I want the non sapid and what was the other item? I forgot. But anyways, I, I like the items in the store. I think they're nice. Wait. Oh. Can I turn that into spider? Or flies or whatever. But the thing is, I think if I do like a female version of NLSS, I don't think not that many people watch it. Because many of females, they don't really care. <laughs> Not only they don't really play video games, like majorities don't really play video games. And on top of that, I don't think they really care. Like, when we talk about things like, you know, what which channel would you get rather fucked by? And I think they'll be like, yeah, I'm not really interested. Like, I have no interest in that, in that question. So I think people will just lose their interest. However, on the other side, on, on the, oh, I need money. But like, I think many men or males are interested. So, Maybe, maybe we can swing it, <laughs> even though the ho- even the co-host and the host will be female, people who would have interest in them will be male, so it kind of works out or something. We'll probably get a decent amount of female audience? I don't know. 
I'll be surprised. There's like a, there was a survey. Um, so I mentioned this app on my phone a lot. But I really do find it really useful. It's called Flow. And it basically keeps on track about your period. So like when you would have your next period. So you can kind of plan things ahead. And it's really useful because it's like someone will be like, Hey, do you want to go to the pool on you know, 28th? And then I'll, I might say, yeah, sure. Why not? Right. But then maybe I look at the app and then the app says, oh, you're expecting period on that day. And I'll be like, ah, maybe not kind of thing. But anyways, in that, within that app, there is like a survey section, like people take a survey there and then answer it there and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, well, you know, I'll take the survey. Why not? And, oh, I should go back to the trap room and I got a bunch of items there. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Um, and one of the question was like, hey, how often do you masturbate? And obviously the app is towards females. And I was like, oh, I'm actually really intrigued to know. And the question or the options were I never ever masturbated or masturbate. Um, or the other was like once a week. And the other one was like more than once a week. Something like that. I, for I forgot the actual... Uh, I don't really have the money. I guess I could blow this guy up and see what he will... Okay, no money. The gas. Sure, why not? And then buy this. 12 hearts, garbage! Whee! I cannot buy non so as we'll go. And you can guess if you want, like how many percentage did women, or at least those women who participated in the survey, answered never and once a week and uh, more than once a week. So, like, how many percentage do you think that women never? <gasps> Stop! Never masturbated. Or, like, never masturbated or <clears throat> never masturbates. I will- I will tell you the answer in the next room. Because people are people are typing in the chat what they think. No, I guess I could probably give him the bomb. See if he likes it. No, yeah, yeah, I did it. <laughs> How do you feel about the end, little child? Dude, I love, I love the beam here. It's so good. I see, like, I saw 13, 18, 30, 50, 33, 10, 60. So, if I remember correctly, in the survey, it said the woman who never masturbated or masturbates was like 53%. And this wasn't like the survey that has all your personal info. It's basically anomaly. Like it's, um, yeah, fifty-three. And then I don't like I don't really remember, you know, the perfect number of it, but it was around fifty-three percent. And then um, the woman who masturbates once a week or something like that, once a month, once a week or something. Um, I don't know. Probably was like 30 something percent or maybe even like yeah 30 something percent and then you know it was like 13 percent or something along that line was 
more than once a week. Two of diamonds. Two sure, why not? Diamonds. I don't think I'll I'll make it to hush. But I don't think I'm good enough to do delirium right now. Or hush. So I'm kind of hoping I will go for the chest run and then... Uh, it might damage me. It might damage me. I don't know. But I have BFF. Oh, Do I take... Do I take it? Uh, I'll regret it. But then it's BBF. It just goes so well with BFF. How can I not? How can I not? But yeah, um, not that many women masturbates or masturbated. How did the two hearts became one fly or one spider? That's not fair. I gave you two. You better give me two or more, not one. That's like 50% off kind of deal. Which I did not agree to have. Kind of sale. That's true. Also closer to the fly transformation. I was also surprised by that question, or the answer, or the result, I guess. No! <laughs> I like my circle just like, not circle at all. Oh, hello. Hello, my friend. Oh, what oh, do you charged into the skull that I do not, that that you cannot, like, you went into the skull. Like, what? <laughs> Take it, why not? Lemon party. <laughs> Which age range had the survey? I think, um, it didn't have the specifics. It's the people, like, the user of that app called the flow was answering the survey but the thing is it's the one well, of the most used or downloaded app for tracking your periods and stuff like that so i think it's pretty reliable but you know not 100 percent but I hear often, I hear that a lot, that many women do not masturbate. Oh, what? This is nothing! Nothing shot at me! So scary. Just round of nothing shot me. Gee. I like that heart. Ding! Oh, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know. Rotten head or the fly. But I mean, the fly always generates a fly a for, per room, so. Was there rock tinto there? Feels like there was a rock tinto there. No. No, my BFF or BBF, I mean. Let's do one room. And then use it. And then save it. And then use it. Whoa, what did my flies all to multiply? Like, I got lots of flies. Belly button. I, I actually don't know what it- Oh, lol, I'm like, wait, don't I have that item? What does it do? What's in there? Oh, it just gives me the trinket. Nah, mm, not interested. Alright, let's just go. I honestly have no idea what chat is talking about. <laughs> um, I looked at the chat, I just like... Yup, uh, no idea. No idea. Oh, 
also. I think- What? What is happening? Okay, well, the golden heart broke. That's what gave that glimpse of the light of the, <laughs> the golden light. The beam of golden light. But I think many people, when women talk about lewd subject or topics or whatever, I think people find it quite like, oh my god, what's wrong with that person? But when for, you know, when men are having like the lewd jokes and stuff like that, they're like, ho oh, ho ho ho, that's funny. Or like, oh yeah, I totally, I totally agree with you. Kind of thing. It's like, oh, I understand that. And then they kind of relate themselves to the question or they will find it funny. But when female literally says exactly the same thing or talks about the same topic, they'll be like, oh, what's wrong with that person? I bet that lady has like a really horrible time in bed. That's why she's talking about or she's having lewd jokes. I'm like, not at all. Just, I'm just that person that like lewd jokes. Am I a lewd person? I mean, I don't think I'm a lewd person. I just, I'm a person who likes lewd jokes. If you like lewd jokes, does that make you into a lewd person? Or is it just the- maybe you're just the person who likes the lewd joke. <laughs> Chad is like, Yes, you are, Kate! You're lewd! <laughs> lewd jokes are so funny. It's just like- I think it's just like a part of my brain that's just like a little bit immature. And it's just like, he 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 said fart. That's funny. And it'd be like, that's not funny. I'm like, that's funny. <laughs> I love fart jokes. No. Please beam, just rain down on the heart. Yes, let's go. Let's go. By, by literally 30 seconds, we couldn't do Hush. But it's okay. We might get lucky and then we might get Portal to Delirium at Chest. Or maybe even after Cathedral. So, if I can skip Hush, but go into Delirium, I 100% will do that. Because that's what I wanted to do, but I just don't feel all that strong about this run. That I don't really want to go straight into... Hush, then Delirium, I think that would be a little bit, uh, suicidal. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no, no! I don't like this room. BBF, could you perhaps run into this huge target that is in the middle of the room, please? You would think BBF would be like, Hey, what is this huge ball sack? Just hang down. Run into it. Dagaz. You know, you know when Ryan laughed like a Squidward? And I said, Ryan looks like Squidward? And I thought about it more, and he 100% has the characteristic of Squidward. He just like... Ooh, shut up, you're, you're annoying, Spongebob. And he's just like, he hates fun. You know, but he doesn't... He doesn't like, uh... Classical music or anything like that, so that's a little bit wrong. But then he kind of looks like Squidward. They're both bald. And, um, they're very cynical. I think that's about it. <laughs> they both have many arms. <laughs> no. <laughs> many legs. Did he play clarinet? He actually did play clarinet. He actually did play clarinet when he was in uh, high school, he told me. But, you know, I'm actually a little bit upset about the... Words, uh, clarinet playing. Did you know if you actually go watch 
season one. Like the first time when you see Squidward, it is not clarinet, it's actually oboe. He plays oboe, the instrument that I play. But everyone made mistake thinking that he was playing clarinet. The reason why the, he played oboe is because oboe is one of the hardest instruments to play and to make a really nice sound out of it as well. So, when whenever Squidward plays the oboe, he sounds horrible. That's the that's the joke cuz all the oboists except the good ones sound horrible, but they don't really recognize that they sound bad. That's why he plays bad. But then everyone's like, "What is the oboe? I don't understand. I don't st I don't understand the joke." So now they changed it into clarinet. So I'm little I'm little upset because it was originally the oboe, and I'm just like, "Ha! I understand the joke because I'm the oboist." But then they're like, "Okay, now the newest season is just like him playing clarinet." I'm just like, "See, the joke doesn't really play well uh, as a music major. I can kind of tell you why. First of all, like you don't really squeak uh, when you play clarinet. In order to squeak like Squidward." when you play a clarinet isn't it's like you're biting the reed and the mouthpiece like way too hard which nobody will do um if you have a teacher the teacher will be like hey don't do that you're you're it's just like you're playing saxophone which is the same exact mouth well, not exact same mouthpiece but literally the concept is exactly the same and the teacher will be like, hey, don't bite into your mouthpiece because you will just like squeak and you're not supposed to squeak. For, but for oboe, even if you want to, even if you have the best teacher, but you're naturally terrible, rather if you're not naturally gifted, you will sound terrible. So it's just really hard of an instrument. That's why it was funny. So my message to you is that please bring back Let's go. So good. Um, am I the fly master now? Let's go! So the message to you all is that Squidward played the oboe. I want him to play the oboe, not the clarinet, because he betrayed the oboe family and moved to this clarinet. Which nobody likes. <laughs> it's so funny. You know, I... Many people don't know the oboe, like I said. And then they'd be like, what's the oboe? Is it like the one that has strings? And I go, oh, you foolish normal human being. You think oboe, which is the woodwind instrument, which is actually one of the oldest woodwind instrument. Um, and you think... We are some kind of guitar, some kind of string instrument. And I chuckle inside. I go, uh, uh, you're a foolish human being. And I go, no. It's like, it looks exactly like the clarinet, which it doesn't. But I guess in uneducated eyes, it looks something similar to it. So whatever. And then I say, it looks like clarinet and uh, sounds somewhat like clarinet which is 100% lie but I just want to make them feel good and then they go oh I think I know that instrument and then in my head I go oh I doubt it and then but then I respond yeah yeah I'm sure you heard of it <laughs> and then that's the that's the conversation that happens every time when people ask oh which instrument do you play I played piano when I was five who doesn't if you're Asian that's like that's like the base stat. You start with that, man. You basically play piano when you're in mama's womb, all right? <laughs> nobody nobody who was born in Asia not play piano, okay? Everyone plays piano. <laughs> it's not even special, all right? <laughs> And then you go, oh, well, I played 
violin when I was young. And I'm just like, yeah, it's like after, it's like, let's say like 99% of like Asians who were born in Korea play piano, um, 85% plays violin. So you're still not, <laughs> you're still not all that <laughs> exciting, okay? <laughs> Dang it, wrong way. I'm like actually super strong. I would really, no. I'll be really happy if Delirium Portal shows up. I would love to get that out of the way, be done with, so I don't have to try for Delirium. I play the triangle. See, now you're doing it. That's actually better. When you go like, oh, that person is talking about music. I don't know anything about music. Like actually, if you, if you say like I played Castanet or like the triangle. I'm just like, dude, you're actually hilarious. I like you. Also, you'll be surprised, but it's actually kind of hard to play the triangle really good. You'd be like, Kate, what the fuck did you just say? You just hit it. It's just the thing that you just hit, and then you just, you that's it. Nah, man. Literally, percussion, one of the hardest jobs in the orchestra you can anyone anyone can play triangle but n not that many people can play the triangle well you don't just strike it all right there's actually a technique same thing with tambourine you go like oh you don't you don't just like slap the tambourine no man dude go on youtube and type tambourine addition you would be so amazed. I've seen my percussion friends like being like readying up. <gasps> Cobalt, thank you for the other horse. My percussion friends who are like practicing for no, no portal. Is there a way to get a portal? Like, <laughs> no, I'm like, I feel strong now with the shielded tears and everything. <laughs> But I was watching my percussion friend practicing the tambourine for one of the auditions. And I'm just like, you just like, you just smack it, you just smack it, right? No, hell no, nah, dude. They actually do a magic trick. I gotta show you. After this, I will, I will show you the YouTube video of auditioning. You know, it was really like, uh, mm, around, around four or five years ago, they actually had a thing called YouTube Orchestra and you know Paul, right? My uh, The fl flautist in my quintet the Hikari Woodwind Quintet, the flautist he actually got accepted into the YouTube Orchestra for that for that year when he auditioned and I was like, that's so cool I think um, they held that event in like Australia or something like that and um it was like uh there, there were hundreds of people auditioned for the spot and it was just for like summer kind of like three months thing and they had the conductor from toronto symphony orchestra to conduct there i believe i think if i remember correctly and it was really neat it was really neat you get to see a uh, bunch of players audition tapes and I don't think it was the first year but for the second year they actually made it made the uh, finalists so like finalists of like uh, 10 people or maybe eight people and then they asked the audience for which one you think is the best and Paul auditioned for the second year as well after he, when he got the first year um, and then he made it to top 8 uh, but I think he didn't get picked because second year they wanted they wanted to involve the YouTube audience so I was like voting for Paul but I think it was the girl who got it she was really good so but it was really neat 